Happy Sunday. Welcome to Beanie Talks. But you know what? It's really hot this week, so I'm gonna like not wear this beanie right now because I don't want to rock a hat, okay? So we're changing up Beanie Talks and we're gonna wear a hat. And I'm gonna take off my glasses so that you can see my lovely eyes. But hi, welcome. We're so glad you're here. What you been up to this lovely sunny week? Um, anyway, put in the comments if you've been up to something awesome or fun or exciting. Um, but for those of you that maybe don't know, I'm Ilsian and I'm one of the youth pastors. The other one is my husband, um, Carlos, but he is uh, behind the camera today. So I'm here Hi guys. Uh, <laughs> to talk to you about. We have been on a series called um, the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus comes and he sees a group of people gathering, a crowd. So then he sits his disciples down and just starts teaching them. So I want to talk about one of the things that he said in Matthew 5 verse 23 and 24 okay so it goes like this it says so if you are presenting a sacrifice at the altar in the temple and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you leave your sacrifice there at the altar go and be reconciled to that person then come and offer your sacrifice to god okay you're probably thinking like, okay, we no longer have sacrifices to offer at the temple, so why are you talking about that? Because there's a principle in this two verses that I want you to know, because I think it's so important uh, for us to be able to realize it, and not only that, but to be able to live by it. So when we talk about what Jesus is saying here, he's saying like, you know, you, you are in this moment, but if while you're in this moment of offering a sacrifice to me, because back in the day, that is what they did. That was part of their worship. They would bring a sacrifice and it was a live animal. So it could have been a sheep or a dove or, you know, whatever. And they would bring it with them to offer it to God to make atonement um, for their sins. So what Jesus is saying, okay, if you're, doing that and then while you're doing that you remember that somebody has something against you like you remember that somebody is offended because of you he says leave it there and then go and be reconciled with them now you got to think about it how difficult would it be to for you to you've carried this you know animal with you and you're at this temple that you probably traveled miles to get to and you're in the middle of having to offer it and then you remember oh man yeah that one girl she's been looking at me funny so you see that girl and you notice that she's been giving you like the evil eye <laughs> or looking at you funny or maybe that guy that bro that you're hanging out with all of a sudden doesn't want to hang out with you anymore or it's just keeping a distance so what Jesus is saying if you remember so he's saying like it is your responsibility like we you I we're supposed to take initiative what does that mean we go first so if we remember that somebody we've offended somebody or somebody's offended because of us we go first we go to them we take initiative and we're like hey okay I've remembered that you've done this but see in that time that was huge it was such an inconvenience they're gonna have to leave their live animal. What's gonna guarantee that when they come back, the live animal was still gonna be in that exact place? Nothing. So it's kind of like, like, like why is Jesus asking this if it's really hard to do, right? And, or if you had a sheep, your sheep ain't gonna stay in one place. Um, but that's what Jesus is asking. And I think what that means is that this is so important. Like this little thing is so important because the sacrifices were to be offered to God. They were to God. So Jesus is saying before you offer sacrifice to God, make sure that you and your brother, you and your sister, you're cool. Make sure that you're good. Because if you're not good, leave your sacrifice there and go fix it. And I think it is talking about God's heart. And see, God's heart is for you and I to get along. 
with our brother and sister. God's heart is for you and I to be reconciled with our brother and sister. See the reason why Jesus died on the cross, the reason why Jesus gave his life for you and I, for him to die for our sins, is so that you and I could be reconciled to the Father. If it wasn't for Jesus dying on the cross and resurrecting, we would not have been reconciled with the Father and have a relationship with God. So I think what Jesus is trying to say in this, in this Sermon on the Mount, in these two verses of Matthew 5, is he's saying, look, it is important that you keep the harmony with your brother and sister. So the earlier verses, Jesus addresses anger. And he says, it's, it's not, you know, you've heard it said, like, don't murder your brother or sister. But he, he kind of races the level. He's like, I'm not going to wait for the actions to happen. But if you even feel it, if you even think it, if you're even already going there with your emotions, he calls it out. That is murder. Like, it's crazy, right? So I think what Jesus is saying, look, you gotta look out for offense. Sometimes you can get angry at people, people can get angry at you, and you don't even know that they're angry at you, right? But it happens. So I think what Jesus is saying, there's gonna be times where anger is gonna come into play, where you are going to offend someone, or you're gonna be offended. But our responsibility, what God is asking us to do, what Jesus is addressing, he is saying, look, don't stay offended. And believe me, there is so many reasons to be offended. I remember like just one after another, especially living with people, right? They didn't leave the toothpaste in the right position. <laughs> or I don't know, whatever it is for you. Maybe they ate all the hot Cheetos and left none for you, man. I would be offended, right? I know one thing for me is like, don't eat my ice cream, right? Leave my ice cream alone. Um, but you know, and we can so easily become upset at someone that has done something towards, especially your family members. So what Jesus is saying, it is important for you to take the first step. It doesn't matter if they apologize or not. He's not saying wait for them to apologize. He's not saying wait for them to admit they're wrong. No, he's saying whether it's right, whether it's wrong, whether you're right or they're wrong or they're, you know, they're right and you're wrong. It doesn't matter. Whichever way it happens, your responsibility, my responsibility is to be the first ones to go to them and make it right reconcile what does that word mean it means that when a relationship has been broken that we take the action needed to bring restoration to that relationship and one of the key things that jesus talks about in the sermon of the mount is forgiveness he he talks about how important it is to forgive and so i know one of the things that makes it hard for us to believe for us to have faith is offense so i'm inviting you today i don't know where you're at with your relationships i don't know where you're at with your heart and maybe you've been coming and and offering worship to god but you know and i know that our worship now doesn't involve live animals um but it does involve our heart and it does involve god so god is saying before you continue to bring these sacrifices, before you continue to worship, I need you to stop and go handle that situation. Go be reconciled. And you know, one of the things that Carlos and I have been talking about is sometimes it's hard to confront people or it's hard to talk to people, but I use this as a principle. Why am I confronting them? Why am I bringing this up? Is it because I want to be proven right or that I want to show them right or is it because I love them? And if the answer is because I love them, then it's the right thing to do. You want to confront people out of love and because of love, not because of anything else, right? Being right is not important. What's important is love and having that harmony that we're called to have as a family of Christ. So we're inviting you today, be reconciled with those that have offended you or those that you've offended that maybe you don't even know you've offended. But if you're not in good terms with someone, today's a good day to ask for forgiveness and to say, hey, can we talk about this? I don't know what's going on, but this is what I feel. 
and allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. And maybe you're out there and maybe you don't have a relationship with Jesus. Maybe you've never been reconciled with God. Um, I wanna invite you, would you open your heart? Would you say yes to Jesus? He died on the cross for you. He, he shed his blood so that you would know forgiveness of sins, but more importantly, so that you would know that God loves you so much. Um, so I'm inviting you, if that's you, and today you want to say yes to Jesus, and today you want to say yes to a relationship with Him, being restored with Him, I pray that you would take that step. I'm inviting you um, to put it in the chat, say, hey, that's me. Um, maybe put the letter R for relationship, and we'll know to follow up with you. Um, but we love you. Make sure <laughs> that you're listening to what Jesus is asking you to do. So... Have a great Sunday and stay in the shade. Don't get a little too burnt out there, but we love you so much and we're so grateful for you. Keeping it moving, keeping it moving. What are we doing if we ain't moving?